Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we have a great show for you. We're going the Texas concept, a deep dive into X's and O's. This is going to span five different NFL offenses, going to take you back through all sorts of different images, all sorts of different variations to run this concept. But at the end of the day, Texas is Texas is Texas. I think you all are going to really enjoy this one, this series. I'm excited for it. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, if you love this content and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications when we go live, when we put out new content. I really appreciate the support for the channel. It means a lot to me. If you haven't already, please think about joining in too. Get the memberships, the logos, the emojis, the fun stuff in the live streams. I appreciate the support for the channel. Let's dive into the film. All right, one of my favorite concepts, Texas. And the essence of this thing is that it's this route from the running back. So right here, this route right here is the Texas, and really the essence of this is you're going to come out and sell a flat. In New Orleans, we called it to shoot, but it's basically sell a flat, come back across. And the beautiful thing about this is that there are a bunch of different variations to do this. And anytime you run Texas or angle, whatever you want to call it, it's often tethered with a bunch of different concepts on the perimeter. And so this is the base way to do it. So we're going to talk through this a bunch of different ways. Texas route, usually paired with a what I'm used to calling a middle field read, but it depends over here on what's going on with the middle of the field. So if the middle of the field is open, this Y is going to run the post. If the middle of the field is close, you're going to run this lazy in or lazy basic, they called it in New Orleans. And really the read is right here on this Mike linebacker or a linebacker. I know it says one here for the Texas, and really you're calling it trying to get the ball to the Texas, no doubt about it. But the essence of it is it's a high-low. So what I mean by that is here's the low, here's the high, and this mic can't be right. This linebacker can't be right. So if he gets any sort of depth, we're going to put it on the Texas. If he hangs and drives down on the Texas, we're going to try to wrap it right around his ear on this in if it's middle of the field closed. If it's middle of the field open, we're then going to take a shot to the post. And that's the first read. The second read is if those things are covered, you're going to come out here and throw what's normally called a pivot, and it was in New Orleans. And really, this is just a variation of a hook. All this is is you come up, you turn around, but then you can throw the quarterback and throw the ball out to the sidelines, but not until you make eye contact with the wide receiver. So really, the read is one Mike linebacker. If that if he takes away both of those, or for whatever reason, the Sam clinches down, the Mike gets depth. You can't get it to the Texas. You can't get it to the end. You're going to flip your feet, come out here, try to work this little lock, pivot, and then come back to the check down all the way on the other side. And that's really the read. And so the essence of this Texas is we're trying to get the ball to the Texas. If there's a linebacker sitting right here driving on it, that means we're probably going to get this little wrap basic behind it. If for some reason two linebackers take those away, we know we're going to have this lock pivot out here because the sand probably drove the Texas. So that's the essence of the base way to run Texas. It's just a high-low, trying to get the ball to the Texas or angle route coming out the backfield. And it's usually the fullback in mini camp one, but it can be anyone. Right here, we have the exact same play. Now we've just switched the formation. Instead of red right, it's change. Again, quickly to go through these, this is West Coast terminology here. Trade in parentheses means you can call it. Trade is just a switch, uh, tr trade for the tight end, copping across. That's what this uh, note over here means. All shifts are sh assumed. It's just a, a shift. That would be trade. Change right is red right, split backs, but it just changes the backs. So now the F is to the weak side and the H or the halfback is to the strong side. Left, it could easily be run to the left. So it'd be change left. 22 is the protection. I'm not going to go over the solid pass protections in the West Coast offense. And then 23 would just be if it's left. So to the left for the hot, 22 is the right for the hot. And then halfback Texas just tells the halfback that now he has the Texas, tells everybody else they've got the same core principles based on Texas concept. And there it is. Really simple way to now, now let's probably get our tailback or halfback the ball. All right, so the first two were regular personnel. Now we're in what in the West Coast world is Tiger personnel, which is really just 12 personnel, two tight ends. So now instead of two backs, we have two tight ends. So we move up 
into for in the West Coast world. Back in New Orleans, this was far right west. Really just three by one, one and one normal tight end splits right here. So instead of the back coming from the backfield, now we're running it with the U, which is designated as the second tight end in the West Coast world. Again, it's the exact same play. We're going to come out here, pretend like we're going to get a flat, come back underneath with the Texas route. And it's the same high-low on the same Mike linebacker, just at a different personnel group. So that's the, the beautiful thing about being multiple in your personnel groups. You run the same exact play. You can dress it up with anything. You could get motions in here. You could trade to motion, come back and run the exact same play, and it's the exact same read for the quarterback. All you're doing is reading the mic. Does he drive the Texas? If he does, and it's closed, can we get the little wrap in behind him? If they take both of them away with two linebackers, we come out and we work the lock pivot down to the check down. That simple out of 12 personnel. And if we have 12 personnel, then you know we're going to have 11 personnel too. So we come in here and in West Coast world, Zebra is 11 personnel. All that means is one back, one tight end. So here's the back. Here's the tight end. Now we got a third wide receiver. So you want to get a better wide receiver or pass catcher running these things. We go from wide right is the formation in New Orleans. Don't worry about the formations. Zebra right was the way we did the uh, motions. Doesn't matter. Gets to three by one and we're running Texas. And it's the exact same play, except now we see they've got middle field open. So we have that tight end coming up, taking the post. So now it's just a high low on the mic again. But now instead of a wrap in, we have a post to be able to stretch and take advantage of that shell. So the read is really what's the mic do to out here to the lock, to the locked pivot, down to the check down all the way on the other side. So five step, read the mic, out to the pivot, to the check down. Really simple, easy way to get a lot of good completions a lot of different ways. So now let's go back to the original way we ran it out of just red right, 22 Texas, but now we're going to add a tag. So if you remember, normally it's Texas with this lazy basic middle field read, possible post. Well, right now we're going to run the Texas, but now we're running a Y out. So a Y out really changes the concept of the play because now we're not reading necessarily the mic. We're putting the high low on the Sam. So it's a, basically the same play, just taking advantage of a different defender. So say we're playing a defense where they, they have a great mic. Like back in the day, it would be like against the Bears. So you don't want to necessarily make Erlacher have to make all these plays. We want to go out here. We'll leave Lance Briggs over on the other side back in the day. And we'll leave whoever is playing Sam, my man Hunter, back in the day. So we want to take advantage of him. So what we're going to do is run the Texas off him. So now we come out. Instead of running the basic, we run the out. The out is guaranteed, changes the outside wide receiver too. The Z now has a post, which we can alert in the red zone and verse quarters. But really, it just changes the high-low. Now we're high-lowing the Sam. Same concept, Texas route or angle with an out. I used to love this concept a lot better. Just felt it was cleaner, a little bit easier. It took away the read for that tight end. There's no middle field open read anymore. It doesn't matter. Middle field open, close. He's running the out. Just another really simple high low and really even an easier read because it goes from you're reading the sam can't be right if they both take this thing away so say you come out and you want to throw the texas but the sand gets depth under the out so you think oh, i'm gonna come back and put it right on the texas but that mike is sitting there and he's driving it then you just go right over to the check down boom that fast just a real simple read from one basically to two and this one encompasses the texas and the out all happening at the same time I know a bunch of quarterback coaches or offense coordinators want to say like one, two, three on every single route, but that's not how you play quarterback from the pocket. It's seeing a part of the field, one to two check down. That's getting through your reads. Really simple, easy way to kind of push Texas to the next level here as far as taking advantage of not just the Mike linebacker. Now we want to attack the Sam linebacker. Different variation of the same play. So now we've hit... Texas straight up normal Texas. Now we've hit Texas Y out. So now what's the next step is basically Texas with a cross or an in route. So it's going to be the same concept, Texas. That's what you, that's what a, the great thing about Texas is Texas. There's going to be a Texas route. Now we're going to basically tag it. So it's going to be Texas with a cross, which is just a way to say in route. And really, if you look at this, you're attacking the exact same section on the field that we just attacked with Texas Y out. Now we're just getting there with a different wide receiver, different eligible receiver from a different landmark. So now instead of out, we get there with an in, but we're still reading the Sam. Sam can't be right. Sam gets depth. We're going to come back, put it on the Texas. 
If the SAM stays down, we're going to come back and try to take advantage of that space with the outside wide receiver running an in. So the read, really simple. Just what does the SAM do? If he gets depth, our eyes go to the mic. Can we throw the Texas? Yes, great, take it. That's why we called it. If we can't and the mic hangs, then we're going to go to the check down. So read Sam. What does he do? He gets depth. He doesn't get depth. He can't be right. Whatever he does, we're off that and we're on to the Texas or the check down. I love these little variations. So you can come out, run Texas normal. You can run Texas Y out. Now we can run Texas Z cross. And Z cross is just Z in. Awesome. Now we're getting into some of my favorite variations of this play. So now we have Texas burst. So really this is just Texas, normal Texas, but we lock these posts here. Instead of running the ba the lazy basic versus middle field closed, we lock that thing to run those guys out of here. We want these safeties, defenders out of here. So versus certain looks, we can alert them. You know, maybe middle field closed to the outside, quarters to the outside, middle field open to the inside. But you're calling Texas burst. You're thinking, I want the burst. So we're coming out. Is the Texas there? Take it. Don't pass up a wide open Texas, but know that we're calling this because we probably called Texas a handful of times and we anticipate them coming up, getting depth, and then driving that Texas. And when they the, when the defenders come up and drive this Texas, all their eyes go to this, we come out with our probably better athlete running the check burst coming out the other side where we've cleared it out with two lock posts. So it's a really simple read. It is one to the Texas, two to the burst. You can alert those posts but the essence of this thing is burst is burst is burst and you can usually yeah there it is you usually used to practice escaping to the right so you basically come back five step drop quick hitch not there you know you can release this way because you know you have this built-in check down if you don't get any pressure coming out with the burst so again it's been texas straight up texas texas y out texas z cross and now we're going texas burst Four variations running the same play. Texas is Texas is Texas. I can't tell you how many times I had coaches tell me that. But really, Texas is every variation we have possible. Now let's go back and look at how we'd probably run it in the modern world here of a little spread action. We're going to go five-man protection. That's just scat in the West Coast world. So we start in two backs, strong eye. We're going to motion to three by two. And now it's just, again, Texas is Texas. Texas, we don't lock, we don't say anything. It's middle middle field to read. Middle field open, we're taking the post. Middle field closed, we're taking the basic, which is an in route. So in here, who are we reading? We're reading the mic. Mic can't be right. If for some reason they squeeze it with the Sam, get two on two, we can come out, work the pivot. Now we have an alert on the backside. If we get middle field closed and we love this throw, a glance, fourth outside step, going to come up and throw this thing right up the numbers in the NFL landmarks. Second base throw just means low, like you're throwing somebody out at second base. Protect that guy from a middle field player who's being able to come across from here and make a big collision, especially 15 years ago. So you want to, that second base throw just says it's not a bad throw to keep it low. Let him slide and go get it, protect himself. Really cool way, another, just a variation. Now we're going to run it at it. This is basically empty. It doesn't look like empty. It's two backs. But it's empty. It's three by two. Quick, easy way to get there. And all you do is call Scat Texas. Love it. Back in the day here, and when I was in New Orleans, they had three different types of reads. What was it? Let me see. Uh, Pre-snap look, PSL, progression with an option, and pure progression is how I used to talk about it. So progression with an option. The option is this glance backside. You get the pitcher look, perfect look, take it. But know that we're calling Texas to throw the Texas. There it is. Then another fun variation out of empty. Now we're in 11 personnel, zebra, wide right. Again, not really empty, but essentially it's three by two. And all this is, is again, Texas is Texas. There it is. Well, we put a nod on the Texas, Texas Y nod. So now you come out, fake the Y out, run that nod, just like a deeper stick nod. And now we get, instead of a burst, we get this shallow coming across. So it's got the best of a lot of worlds, in my opinion. 
So we're calling it obviously to throw the nod, but you want to be able to not pass up a wide open Texas. So it basically inverts the read and is a learned read. But no, anytime you're calling a double move, it's almost always going to be the first read. So again, coming out, we're not going to pass up a wide open Texas. Eyes on the Texas. He comes out the Y, gives a little nod to the out. There it is. One. If that's not there, everybody sinks underneath that thing, meaning the Sam, Mike, sink underneath that thing. We then have the shallow coming all the way across from the other side, really clean. So it's one to the nod, one to the nod, two to the shallow. Don't pass up a wide open Texas alert. There it is. Really simple way, really cool red zone play. But again, you see variation after variation after variation, all of Texas. This is all Texas. Texas Y out. Texas Z cross, Texas burst, Texas from empty, now Texas with a double move. All right, so let's get nuts here and go to Cincinnati. Those were all from New Orleans. Back in the day, Mike McCarthy, head coach, or offense coordinator. Now we're in Cincinnati. This is near 2010. Just a totally different way to do it. Digit offense. This is a kind of a different way to do it. Uh, some teams call these fans or angle routes. In Cincy, we call them an angle route. This is getting close to what a short post might be, but this is just another way to do it. Again, the, the concept that we want to pay attention to is there's the angle, and there's that middle field read right there. Whoop, whoop. Now, it's a variation of it, and it looks like we read it a little bit differently when I was there, one to two. But again, it's the same play. When you're playing quarterback, this is basically a clear. Whoop. This little cross through is a clear clear and we're going to come out and read this linebacker whoever whatever linebacker is right here he can't be right he gets depth we put it on the angle he hangs on the angle we try to rip it right behind his head and we got a backside some variation of a spot route which i don't remember why we would ever go over there but i'm sure there was a reason or maybe not it was Cincinnati. next variation comes from minnesota back around 20 2006 maybe and it's the same play again you can see it's Texas, right here. Little middle field read. They ran it a little bit different. They're open, meaning open. You could take the middle right here. Close was more of the Y out. So they had the built in instead of the basic or the in and the post. They did the post and the out, which is a cool concept. And I always like that variation of it. But it's the same read. Don't get it twisted. It's Texas or whatever we called it. Shot. Texas. Middle field read, just with an out instead of a cross. Right there, high, low, can't be right. Mike linebacker, inside linebacker, doesn't matter. Beautiful. Same concept, three different teams. Next Texas is from Green Bay, 20, 2004, 2005 maybe. Again, same play. This is West Coast ver uh, version, 22 Texas. Weak right jazz is the formation and the motion. Weak right is the offset eye. Jazz was the motion for the fullback. It doesn't matter how you get there. It's Texas. Texas right there. There's that middle field. They did the same thing as Minnesota did with the out. Middle field open. You could take the bender. Everything else you ran on the little pivot or the out. But it's the same play. It's still a high low. Again, it's a little bit different with the out variation. It makes it a little bit more of a Sam read to me or an outside linebacker read. But it's one to two. And if it's middle field open, it's really the mic. Middle field closed, it's going to be the Sam. You get what I mean by that? So Texas, middle field open, you're going to come out here and threaten that Mike. If it's middle field closed, you're going to come out here and threaten that Sam, high low him. And then if that Sam, for whatever reason, gets depth and falls into the out, you're going to have that locked pivot right there. Different team, same exact play. Just little tweak variations. Now let's go to a totally different offense, digit offense. You see the digits pop up here, 944, nine is a vertical, fours were ins. When I was in Detroit, I want to say this is from Detroit probably. So again, it's the same thing. We called it cross. It's called Texas. Doesn't matter what it is. You come out, you fake the flat, you come back underneath. Right here, you got the four coming in. And really this is just Texas Z cross, right? So Texas, reading the mic. Can't be right, high, low him. If it's not there, we lose the locked pivot, and now we have the in or the Z cross. So totally different offense, different personnel, different formations, different protection. Doesn't matter, it's Texas. You learn how to play Texas, you can play Texas in any offensive system. 
There's the fan, the angle, the cross, whatever you want to call it. There's the lazy basic, the in route, and there's the Z cross. So easy, but once you get the concept, now you understand how you can go from offense to offense and learn football at a higher level. Okay, let's stay in the digit offense here. We got the same exact play, 944, but now it's a H fake cross. So this is a different variation. I didn't write it in here, but Texas is often a five-step drop or always a five-step drop. Fake cross or fake Texas is a seven-step drop. And really, we're calling this to get it to this route right here. What does it look like? It, all it is is you come up, you run the Texas, get two steps in, and then you come all the way back out. A little double move from the backfield. Really high-level offense used to love this play. This is a big hitter. You run Texas, you run cross two or three times, then you come back in a two-minute situation, come in, come in, come out, get it to your playmaker in space, especially when you got a four tethered with it or an in route tethered with it. There's nobody over here, and this turns into punt return right. It's a great play. Again, variation on variation on variation. It's just building on the Texas concept. Then finally, let's go all the way back to New Orleans and figure out if you all had noticed, Texas is almost always run to the Y or to the strong side. Well, if we want to run it to the open side, which probably makes a lot of sense to me because we probably want to throw it to our wide receivers more than our tight ends in most offenses, you want to come back and it's Texas. It's the same concept. We just called it something different in New Orleans. You don't have to call it something different. It's the same play. Now we're just running to the open side. There's no tight end here. It's the same read. We're still reading the inside linebacker. He can't be right. High, low him. You call it whatever you want. Cupcake, Houston, angle, cross, whatever. It's Texas. This is Texas. Now we just got the wide receiver coming in here, running the middle field read, the lazy basic, or the post based on middle field open, middle field close with the lock pivot. And everybody has to learn that all these things is, is just Texas is usually to the Y side. A different word or different variation is usually to the open side or the non-tight end side. But don't get it twisted. If you're playing quarterback, this is the same play. Texas. Right there. High, low, inside linebacker. Can't be right. Get an easy completion and get another first down. Love it. All right, that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Enjoy these X's and O deep dives. If there are other concepts you want to see, let me know. I'm going to try to get into this more and more this offseason, but I'm really excited for this X and O series to take these concepts, deep dive, better understanding, be able to start to recognize and see these plays in everyday football. So it should be a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, supporting the channel. I appreciate it. See you next time.